Definitely need to get the engine working. Yeah, we do. Hey guys, welcome to part 11 of the mini Grave Digger monster truck build. In this episode, we will mount the seat, build a floor pan, construct a rear driveline, and fully weld the chassis. If this is the first video of this series that you have seen, please go back and watch the previous episodes too. All right, let's get to work. In an effort to get this thing ready for a test ride, I'm uh, working on the cockpit. My two boys are pretty close in age, but they vary quite a bit in size. Plus, the families that we go camping with have a bunch of kids, and uh, they're all going to want to be driving this thing. So I've got to make this cockpit fit uh, many different sized children. An important feature that I built into this is that this whole seat and adjustment assembly comes off quick and easy with four bolts. And uh, that's important so that dad can squeeze his groceries into this thing at some point. So now that I got the seat mounted, I am going to create a floor out of this uh, remnant piece of aluminum tread plate that I had. Lyle, what do you think of that floor in there? It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. See, it's the tire. Is it shiny? So shiny. <laughs> Definitely need to get the engine working. Yeah, we do. One of the major steps to getting the engine to uh, move this vehicle is a drive line. So we've got the uh, a little U-joint sticking out of the back of the motor that I want to connect to this rear axle. And uh, what came on the quad out of that splined U-joint was this piece here. So I just cut this funky flange off the end. I've got the spline. I turned this down, cut a washer out on the plasma cutter. And then I had this old drive line that I used to use uh, for this axle before. So I just cut this end off. I've got the end that mounts to the uh, input of the Dana 44 over there. So the plan is to take this spline shaft, this washer, just slide the uh, washer on here, weld it to this shaft, then turn it down in the lathe to where it fits inside this tube here and create the funkiest, shortest drive line ever.
All right, we've reached another exciting milestone. What do we have here? That's right. We've made the world's shortest drive line. And uh, I don't know if you can see in there at all. I had to do a little bit of grinding to uh, clearance the yokes on the uh, little U-joint up there. Just to get enough articulation for making sure this thing can go throughout the entire travel of the suspension. Okay guys, I do believe the time has come to strip this thing apart, get it down to the bare chassis, and uh, fully weld it. Otherwise I'm going to be very tempted to take this thing for a test drive with only the frame being tack welded. admit this is one of the more unique chassis that I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this, especially not underneath a uh, power wheels body. I couldn't resist throwing the body panels on there one more time before I weld it all up. <laughs> it's just obscene. chassis is fully welded. Many of you are going to say, oh, great time to paint it. Well, unfortunately, there's still a lot of little things I'm going to have to add to it. I just wanted to make sure that the main structure was fully welded because uh, we're getting dangerously close to a test drive and I didn't want to be tempted to uh, test drive it with the frame just tack welded together. Before the next video, I'll get it all assembled and put back together. And in the next video, we will work on things to get it running. So we still got to figure out where to put the radiator. We've got to uh, figure out the exhaust and I want to do something pretty fun with the exhaust. Even though this is just a single cylinder engine, 
I'm thinking about making a manifold that goes into dual uh, mufflers that have uh, pipes that come out and kind of emulate that V8 header look. So uh, I want to play around with that. I'm pretty excited about that. Also, a lot of you have commented that the uh, roll cage up here is ugly or, you know, get rid of it. You got to cut that off. Um, you got to remember, I'm building this for my kids, uh, mainly. You know, of course, I'm going to try to figure out a way to squeeze myself into it. Um, but my main concern is making this thing safe for my kids. I will say that I do have plans to put uh, couplers in the cage here so that I can unbolt it and remove it because there's no way that I'll be able to fit in it and drive it with this cage on here. So uh, look forward to that in the future. I'll figure out how to make this thing removable. I haven't cut it off and made it removable yet because I'm not quite sure where the radiator is going to go. I'm guessing that I'm going to have to mount that back here. It's really the only piece of real estate on here big enough. You know, I've thought about maybe stuffing it under the front, but I'm afraid that the tire's turning, just going to throw mud up into it, pack it full of mud, and it make it useless. So I think anywhere down there is just not going to work. So that kind of leaves this area back here with the fans on it and everything. So given that, uh, i got to get that mounted and then figure out the lowest place I can make this cut and removable. And then I'll probably end up just making a, a single hoop or something when it's in adult mode. I wanted to take a moment and do a shout out for a YouTube channel that I am very fond of. It's a uh, father-son team that uh, builds cool go-karts and things like that. I know they got plans to do a few other things in the future. But uh, the name of the channel is Dragoworks. So uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Go check them out. I think it's really cool. My boys and I enjoy watching. And it's the type of content I want to create when my two little guys get a little older. So go check out Dragoworks. I think you'll enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and share this video with your friends. If you want to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.